From New York, Mr. Torres is recognized for the remainder of the hour as the designee of the majority leader. Well, I want to thank my colleague from Ohio, uh, Congressmember Chantel Brown, for allowing me the opportunity to speak. Uh, no human need is more important than health, yet no need is more neglected by America than black health. And there are two areas on which I'm going to offer a brief comment. The first is maternal mortality. Among industrialized nations, the United States has among the highest rate of, ma of maternal mortality. The crisis of maternal health represents American exceptionalism in the worst sense of the word. America is exceptionally cruel to black mothers who far too often face fatal barriers to accessing maternal care before, during, and after pregnancy. Although representing only 13% of the population, black women account for nearly 40% of maternal deaths. And there are racial disparities not only in maternal, but also infant mortality. The black community has a maternal mortality rate and an infant mortality rate that is more than double the mortality rates in the white community. No healthcare program is more critical to maternal health than Medicaid, which pays 40% of births nationwide. And so attempts by Republican governors to prevent Medicaid expansion has a disproportionately destructive impact on black maternal health. What is most tragic is that most maternal deaths in America are preventable and can be prevented with public investments like the Build Back Better Act. The Build Back Better Act is so urgently needed because it would bring a long overdue expansion of Medicaid to every corner of black America. The second topic is cancer. In 2022, more than 73,000 black Americans are expected to die from cancer. When it comes to most cancers, black Americans have the highest death rate as well as the shortest rate of survival. In the long run, we must develop a cure for cancer in keeping with President Biden's unity agenda. But in the short run, we must double down on early detection. We must invest in the development and distribution of multi-cancer early detection tests. Black Americans have a far lower likelihood of receiving early cancer detection screening than white Americans. Early detection can mean the difference between life and death. It can mean early treatment, which can prevent cancer from metastasizing beyond the point of no return. Early cancer screenings and diagnoses are tragically less common in the black community than elsewhere in America. Even in cases where the white community has a higher cancer incidence, the black community will nonetheless have a higher cancer mortality because of racial disparities in early cancer detection and diagnosis. And so expanding access to multi-cancer early detection tests would bring us closer to closing the racial gap in early detection and in early diagnosis. And in doing so, it would save lives. With that said, I yield the rest of my time to the chair. Uh, to the, oh, okay. Gentleman yields back. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and include any extraneous material on the subject of the special order. Without objection. Thank you. Policy of J.